Blue Jam Cafe is an iconic brunch spot that's been open for 18 years with dishes so fresh they don't have any freezers at their Ooh, location. That's legit. Yeah. Chef Camille Major is joining us in studio with a look at their dishes. Thank you so much for being with us this Thank morning. This spread me. is absolutely beautiful. We've all been to Blue Jam Cafe. Yes. The staff was talking about it. We love it. Tell <laughs> us a little bit more about it for people not familiar. Well, we opened uh, 18 years ago, first location on Melrose. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now we have seven locations throughout the Los Angeles and serving neighborhoods. Awesome. You were telling me you learned to cook from your mom. What inspired you to start <coughs> these restaurants? Pretty much uh, my, my background is raw fine dining and I just got fed up with fine dining and I wanted to bring that type of cuisine to the lower uh, cafe, yeah, cafe environment. Yeah, yeah, to everyone. That's, that's there right, you that's go, right, I love right, it. That's right, that's right. Absolutely, that's right. and Chef, you know what? Um, you had us at French Toast. You guys are known for your French Toast. Crunchy French Toast, yeah. Tell us yeah. about yes. it. So Crunchy French Toast, it's a, a bri French brioche. Mm -hmm. Then we dip it in this uh, really uh, great batter. We roll it in cornflakes mm. and then we uh, put it on the griddle, griddle and uh, cook it for eight to ten minutes. Yummy, yeah, that really sounds divine. There. Okay, what else did you bring for us today? I have uh, breakfast pasta, which is close to my heart because my breakfast mom used to pasta. make it for me. Oh, how oh. sweet! But she would make it as a lasagna. Oh, oh okay. lasagna for breakfast. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. Your mom was not playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but the problem with, with this dish is if I bring it to Blue Jam and do it like my mom, uh -huh. guests would be leaving because 45 minutes, nobody would wait for it, right? Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, I had true. to come up with different versions, so this is my version. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, what is this rice dish over here? Because this looks amazing. So Italians probably would hate me for this one because that's the carbonara. Yeah. Mm. But it's my twist on with it. With rice. Okay, well, give me the fork. Cause <laughs> I, I, actually, I love it because I I like rice better than noodles, so right up my alley. And, What's uh, in here? Uh, peas, uh, bacon, parsley, uh, mozzarella cheese, okay. and then a uh, soft poached text on top. So when you break it, you kind of make this oh. emulsion. Yeah. Chef, okay. tell me what's the green sauce? The green sauce, it's a uh, a uh, pesto, so it's pesto, pesto minus the nuts. Nice. Mm. So nuts, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, what do we got going on here? So here it's a, a vegan tostada because you know my menu actually, in our menu is uh, very diverse. Yeah, so yeah. Gluten free, sure. Vegan. And what this meets everybody's needs. Yeah, yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. And, and this is fantastic. So it's what's a, in there. So we have uh, black beans, uh, roasted peppers on the tostada. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. See if you lift it up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't like this one. Right. There we go. Yeah. Can we see it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. And cilantro, so it's a, it's a delicious dish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's vegan. So, Again, vegan. Yeah, 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 Yummy. Yeah, yeah. And what's this delicious dish That's right a, here? That's uh, open face uh, burgundy omelette. Mm. And there's uh, fresh tarragon, mm -hmm. uh, sun dried tomatoes, goat cheese, uh, different kinds of mushrooms that we mm. saute in olive oil. And then uh, it's on a bit of uh, uh, crispy potatoes. Yeah. Chef, we always amazing. like to ask this question. You guys, you know, have so many uh, different dishes that you want to talk about. But as chef, what is your ultimate favorite thing? On the menu? On the menu. It's probably that one right there. Yeah, because it's my your mom's, inspired my mom. by your mom's there you pasta. Go. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. So everybody, order this. <laughs> <laughs> also love how brunch has literally become its own thing. Yeah. Like, now, I feel like back in the day, that wasn't a thing. Now, brunch is literally like sometimes the event for the whole day. That is true. And, and you're right, and we serve it seven days a week. Yeah. And I also don't think that breakfast have, has to be boring, right? I mean, right. if you put a nice presentation, the eyes eat first. Absolutely. And then your tummy confirms that it looks good and it tastes good, and See? it's a winning combination. This is Tummy's why you happy. have seven locations. <laughs> you know how our minds work. <laughs> All right, so Chef, you said um, Melrose is one of your locations. Tell us um, some other locations and how people can visit you guys. We have uh, one in Sherman Oaks, one in uh, Woodland Hills slash Calabasas. Mm -hmm. uh, we open one in Atwater Village. We have one in downtown, nice. Brentwood. So, and you can go on uh, our website and find out more details. We sure will, and we yes. will so, enjoy. Thank yeah. you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, the pleasure is all ours. You can find all the information on Blue Jam Cafe on our website, kcalnews.com slash scene on TV.